we are going to talk about how to identify some invariant points. So we introduced our first kind of invariant point or special kind of um, invariant points that we're going to deal with, which was our uh, basically our simple eutectic. So we are going to deal with a couple others today. So we're going to do eutectic, eutectic, which we know is just again going from a liquid phase to some two phase solid solution. So alpha plus beta again, those are solids. So eutectic. We also have a peri, peri tech tick. We have a u uh, tectoid, tectoid, and then we'll have a peri tectoid. So let's go ahead and look at some of these, and we're going to kind of create a little table here, and then I'll give you a little hint on how you could kind of identify these points, um, these kind of bunny ears diagrams. So when we are dealing with uh, essentially here. Uh, a eutectoid, it's going to be a very similar type of transition, except whenever you hear this oid term, for example, so this oid, it means there's a liquid here, but an oid is basically this. It's going from a solid, a one solid phase to a two-phase solid solution, a new two-phase solid solution, alpha plus beta. Now, you see here, to be an invariant point, we need three distinct phases. So liquid, alpha, and beta are three distinct phases. Gamma, alpha, and beta are three distinct phases. We can't go from like gamma to gamma plus beta. That's not uh, a eutectoid or an invariant point because we don't have three phases there. So that's kind of the key idea. So again, pure solid phase to two-phase solid solution mixture. So that's a peritectoid. A peritectic is, again, ic is going to have a liquid. It's kind of uh, a little bit similar to the eutectic, but you know, opposite. So we're going from a two-phase liquid plus solid phase mixture so we're going from like a liquid plus alpha to a beta. So we're going from a two-phase mixture, you know, you know, again, two-phase solid solution, or you know, uh, basically two phases that are in equilibrium, i.e., our chemical potentials of liquid is equal to chemical potential of alpha. So we're going from this two-phase, um, you know, phase-separated solution into a pure new phase here. And a peritectoid, again, very similar, except instead of the liquid, it's just going to be alpha plus beta goes to a gamma. That's it. That's all that you're dealing with here for eutectoids. So peritectic right here. And then here we can also go through. Uh, this is going to be a peritectoid. So you also have this kind of uh, idea of a monotectic. So it's like a liquid of one goes to a liquid of another. Um, so it's this other kind of liquid phase solution. But again, these are very, very unique uh, kind of points. Now, I wanted to kind of draw how we can identify where these eutectics, eutectoids, peritectics, peritectoids kind of form. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a little bit on each of these. So I'm going to call this eutectic. So eutectic, it kind of has this like bunny rabbit kind of idea. So if you kind of think of it something like this, it's liquid to an alpha plus beta. So it's going to look like this, this kind of, you know, bunny rabbit type of kind of uh, idea here. And the eutectoid is going to look the exact same way, but for the, you know, except now it's just, this is going to be like a gamma phase. But for the kind of two-phase solutions, a little bit different. So actually, let's look at an example, because we already know the example for uh, a eutectic uh, point. But let's look at a peritectic point. So where we're going from a liquid plus solid. So you can kind of see here, actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and draw that in a little bit. But it's essentially the opposite here. So we are going to be going for a peritectic and a peritectoid. So this is the eutectoid. So it's this kind of picture, this bunny rat picture. But for the peris, peritectic, it's going to be basically this type of diagram where it's going to be flat and then here and here. So you'll have like your liquid plus, you know, alpha or your, you know, alpha plus beta, and then it goes to a single kind of gamma phase here. So that's kind of the key idea. So if you have a eutectic, it's this kind of bunny rabbit thing. If it's this peritectic, it's this flat, and then it goes into here. So that's how you can identify some of these invariant points. And the other thing that we want to be able to do is kind of draw uh, and kind of label these kind of points on the phase diagram, or these regions in the phase diagram. So let's go ahead and do a couple of these activities together. So I see here, I have liquid phase here. So whenever I look at a phase diagram, I first want to kind of label each region. So I have copper, or basically this is like an A or an alpha phase here. 
So what is this region here? Well, I have liquid on this side. I have alpha on this side. So this region is just going to be liquid plus alpha. That's my liquidus line. This is my solidus line. There it is. What about this region here? Well, I've got alpha on one side, beta on the other side. So this is alpha plus beta. What about this side? This is a little beta prime. So this is going to be alpha plus beta prime. This is beta prime. What about here? Beta, gamma. So it's beta plus gamma. Beta prime plus gamma. So I'm filling out the phase diagram. What about here? Gamma on one side, beta on the other side. So gamma plus epsilon. Excuse me. Not what about here? Delta, pure phase delta here, gamma. So this is gamma plus delta. What about here? This is liquid. This is gamma. So this, or delta, this is delta plus liquid. What about here? This is gamma plus liquid. What about here? Beta, liquid, beta plus liquid. So you see how we can kind of start to kind of fill out these words. We're over here. This is epsilon. This is liquid. So epsilon plus liquid. And then this is pure eta uh, right here. Actually, this, this phase here is kind of the pure eta. This is a kind of a little hard diagram to see. So this would be eta plus uh, this uh, epsilon plus eta. Excuse me for my Greek letters. You can tell I don't have too much experience with it. So that's a lot of, you know, so you always want to kind of draw and kind of, you know, list out these regions because now it's going to help you to find what are these invariant points. So what are the some types of invariant points we talked about? Well, we said that eutectic goes from like a liquid to pure alpha plus beta phase. So what about right here? As I go down in temperature, this composition, I'm going from liquid to this two phase solid region. So right here, this is an invariant point. What about right here? Here I'm congruently melting, right? I'm also congruently uh, melting right here as well, kind of really, really close. I'm congruently melting right here. I'm congruently melting right here as well. What are the, uh, some other uh, invariant points that you can kind of uh, see or visualize in this phase diagram? Well, what about here? This looks like a peritectic, right? Gamma plus... Uh, liquid goes to delta. So that's a peritectic point. We've got another peritectic point right here. Remember the flat diagram into here. We've got a peritectoid right here. So let's kind of, I'm going to uh, empty this uh, plot here. So I want to kind of emphasize. So this, so at this transition, we are going from liquid to alpha plus beta. So that's a eutectic. Here, that is Basically, a liquid to, you know, this is a congruent melting point. Uh, so that's our kind of phase transition here. This, we are going from, uh, in this point, we're going from gamma plus liquid to uh, delta. Oops. My pen is in my Oops. Oops. Oh, well, uh oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead and, uh, here we go. Uh, gamma plus liquid to delta. So that is a peritectic. What about right here? This is going from delta to gamma plus epsilon. That's going to be a peritectoid, or actually a eutect, uh, a eutectoid. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to discard all this. So let's go back to our, again, this is a handy table to have on your hand. So this would be a eutectoid, exactly. Uh, so that would be a eutectoid. So let's go back to our diagram here. So we have our eutectic here, the two-phase region. Uh, basically, uh, this is a congruent melting point. This is a peritectic. This is a eutectoid. Here, where are we going? So let's look at it again. It's delta plus liquid to what? I'm going to, from here to epsilon. So that is a peritectic. What about right here? This is going from, again, epsilon plus liquid to eta. That is a peritectic. So you can start to identify these kind of regions in the phase diagram. What are the invariant points here? Well, let's finish out the, the diagram here. So this is a solid, one solid phase of MgPl2. So this kind of line just indicates this kind of, you know, again, this intermetallic essentially. So here I've got on this diagram, this side, Mg2Pb plus liquid. Here I've got Mg2Pb plus liquid phase. What about this phase? I've got beta plus liquid right here. So what are my invariant points? Well, I've got a congruent melting point here, congruent melting point here, congruent melting point here. 
I've got a eutectic here, again, liquid to alpha plus beta. And what about here? I've got another eutectic. So I'm going from, again, liquid to beta plus mg, you know, BB2. So there we go. So that you can get to really, really uh, a lot more complicated phase diagrams, ternary, quaternary phase diagrams, but we won't be getting into kind of those uh, questions today. So next time we're going to do one more example on kind of this uh, aluminum, nickel, uh, uh, and identifying these kind of invariant points. But after that, you should be ready to go. All right.